Okay, here's my Ubuntu client. It's version 11.10, and as you can see, it's freshly installed because there's a rake of updates need to be put on to install Evolution. Launch the Ubuntu Software Center, and simply do a search for Evolution. Hit Return, and it should pop up on the list. There it is, Evolution Mail and Calendar. Select it. Select Install. Authenticate using your password. And you'll see it'll start spinning away at the top and over on the right hand side there you'll be able to see its progress as it installs. When it's done we'll get a little green tick over the icon and that's it in. In addition to Evolution, because we're talking to Exchange, we're also going to want the Exchange Mappy add-in. Now it is, it's called Exchange Support for Evolution Groupware Suite used to simply be called evolution.mappy and that's that installed. Close that down. Now just to prove this isn't all smoke and mirrors, here's my um, Exchange 2010 box. If you search out that build number you'll see that it's Exchange 2010 with Service Pack 1 with update rollup 6 and I have an email account configured and working. So to connect to it using my Evolution client, I'll launch Evolution on my Ubuntu machine. That's the first time I've run it, so it should come up with a welcome to. Thank you very much. Continue. I'm not restoring from a backup. Continue. Tap in my use and it on my full name and my email address. Now this is going to be my default account so I don't need to put anything else in. Simply fill in the details it requires and click continue. Server type we're talking to Exchange so you want Exchange Mappy. Under server type in either its IP address or if you have its name resolving a DNS you can put in its name. Feed it your username and your domain name and click authenticate and it will ask for your domain password, tap that in and click OK and all being well it should say that authentication was successful click OK continue set up your options for your mail account, I'm going to get it to check for mail every two minutes check for mail in all folders and automatically synchronize, you can set this however you like continue uh, account information, I'm going to leave it on its default, which is just the email address, but you can change that to whatever you like. Okay, before it launches, I'm going to need to authenticate once again to my domain. My password never changes, so I'm going to tick the Remember My Password box, and I'm going to set Evolution as my default mail client. Click Yes. Now, when you first uh, fire up Evolution, it'll take a few seconds to sort itself out. You can see it's just loading over there on the left-hand side. It's starting to populate now. If you look underneath there, you can see mailbox. Pick long, expand that out, and select my inbox. And there's my email populated and connected to Exchange. In addition to email, you can, of course, synchronize your Exchange calendar. And it will also synchronize uh, both your personal contacts. Just click contacts there, you'll see it pulls down the Exchange global address list. It'll also pull down your individual contacts and anything listed under suggested contacts, it'll pull that down as well. That's my Evolution mail client configured and talking to Exchange. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.petenetlive.com. Thanks very much.